Hello students, welcome back to chapter motion module 5 and in this module we shall study the concept of distance and displacement and further we shall study how we can distinguish among these two factors that is distance and displacement. So let's take an example, this is a point A which is the initial point and further we have a point B which is exactly opposite to point A and this is the final point. Let us consider there is an athlete which is at point A and he starts running across the track and reaches at point B such that the path covered by him from point A to point B. Thus we can say that the actual path covered by an object from one point to another is said to be its distance. So in this case the distance is equal to 250 meter. Whereas if we draw a line from point A to B which is exactly at the opposite end of a circular track and if we consider this is a circular track then according to the formula the circumference 2 pi r is equal to twice of the distance traveled by him that will be 2 pi r is equal to 2 into 250. Moving ahead further twice of the radius will be equal to 500 divided by pi and if we place the value of pi as 22 upon 7 and calculate further we will find D that stands for the diameter which is equal to 159.09 meter. So the shortest distance between the initial point A and final point B is nothing but 159.09 meter which is displacement. So let us take another example. Now the athlete is at point A and he goes back to the same point thus the initial point is equal to the final point and in this case the distance traveled by him will be equal to twice of the initial value that is 500 meter. So the path covered by the athlete is 500 meter and which will be equal to the distance. Whereas when we talk about displacement so the initial point is equal to the final point thus the shortest distance between initial and final is same and as a result the displacement will be 0. So when we take in consideration of the entire data we would see that when athlete moves from point A to B the distance is 250 meter whereas displacement is 159.09 meter and when he moves from point A and comes back to the same point so the distance is 500 meter and as initial and final point is common or same displacement is 0 meter distinguish between distance and displacement. So let us understand distance and displacement. The first point it says distance is the actual path followed by a body between the points in which it moves whereas displacement is the shortest distance between the initial and final point of movement. So it is a scalar quantity we have already discussed it earlier because it has only magnitude and no direction. Displacement is a vector quantity reason because it has both magnitude as well as direction. Let us move for the third point. So it says that it is either equal to or greater than the displacement whereas moving to the next point it says it is either equal to or less than the distance. So this is the difference between distance and displacement. Thank you students.